I'm gonna be showing you guys every working glitch right now in Cold War Zombies. This first glitch will be on FireBZ and it's a PHG slider glitch. So all you're gonna need for this glitch is either shards tier 3, you'll also need meal kick tier 3, and you'll also need PHD slider tier 4. So for this glitch you want to leave spawn by using the either shard glitch to glitch through the door. And you want to make sure to upgrade all your guns to pack a punch and you want to get all your perks before you do the glitch. So all you want to do is go over to the mission control room, you want to come over where I do and you want to run and you want to jump and use your PHD slider and you want to pause at the right moment. It's a bit tricky to pull off but if you're having trouble I recommend doing it on the door since that's much easier to do it on. But yeah you just want to keep running and you want to jump and use your PHD slider as soon as you use it you want to press pause. When you unpause you should be into the glitch. You can pick up most of the drops in this glitch but you won't really be able to pick up any of the power ups because you will be too far away from them. I'm gonna be showing you guys an easy PHD slider glitch so all you'll need for this glitch is either shard tier 3, meal kick tier 3, and PHD slider tier 4. This glitch will be on die machine so you want to play the game like you normally would but when you're in the pack a punch sequence you want to go over to the wonder fizz machine and you want to grab meal kick and PHD slider. Also make sure to do the coffin density strike and upgrade your weapons. So for the glitch you want to make your way to the underground portion of the weapons lab then you want to come where I do and you want to make sure instead of running up and doing the glitch you just want to jump slide and you want to pause and unpause. Make sure you don't do any run up because if you do a run up it won't work. So when you're in this glitch, if you go prone, you can get hit. So I recommend only going prone at the end of the round so you can pick up all the loot and you can pick up all the power ups. I also recommend having a splash weapon for this glitch, such as the RPG or the die shockwave or even the ray gun, as it makes it much easier to kill the zombies. This is the best Cold War zombies glitch out right now. So all you need for this glitch is meal kick tier 3 and PHC slider tier 4. So before you get into this glitch, I recommend pack-a-punching all your weapons, getting all the perks you want because it is a bit hard to get out of the glitch. So basically to get into this glitch, you want to go down to the sewer access portion of the map, you want to go exactly where I do, and you want to perform the PHC slider glitch by jumping and using the slide button and pausing at the exact same moment. So from there, you just want to follow exactly where I go, you want to make your way over to this little area and you want to go to the very bottom part of this. Once you get to this part, you want to move away at once again so the zombies all will be begin to pile up over there. From here, it's really easy headshots to get your camos. If you want to pick up any power ups or drops, you just want to go back to the spot, go prone, and you can pick up almost everything. Another way to get out from this spot is you want to go back to the spot where you first entered the glitch. There will be a zip line over there, you just want to use that and you will teleport out of the glitch. Here's an easy unlimited XP glitch. So to start off this glitch, you need either shard tier 3, mule kick tier 3, and PHC slider tier 4. So you want to make sure to grab Mule Kick and PHC Slider during the Pack Punch sequence. By the way, this glitch is on Die Machine and to start off this glitch, you want to go over to the living room and you want to do the PHC Slider glitch by running and jumping into this wall, then using PHC Slider and pausing at the exact same moment. You literally just want to run, jump, slide midair and pause. If you do it correctly and you do the, get the timing right, you will get teleported into the wall. Now for this next part, I'm going to speed it up a little bit, but basically you want to go prone and you want to follow exactly where I go. It's crucial that you go over here. But once you get over to this portion of the map, you want to come over where I do, then, then you want to come over to this exact same spot I'm in, and you just want to jump once and all the zombies will co come over to this spot, and from here you can just keep killing them without getting hit at all. This is easily the best Cold War Zombies XP glitch out right now. So all you need for this glitch is Easy Shout Tier 3, Mule Kick Tier 3, and PHE Slider Tier 4. So you want to make sure to grab all your perks in the Pack Punch sequence, and I also recommend that you do the Coffin Density Strike to get free Jug and a chance at Wonder Weapons. And before we start this glitch i also recommend that you guys upgrade all your weapons and get everything you need so to start this glitch you want to make your way over to the medical bay you want to come and jump on this box then you want to do a, a slight sprint and jump then you want to slide midair and you want to pause once you unpause you should be teleported inside the wall you don't necessarily need to jump on the box but it does make this a bit easier once you get in the wall you just want to walk up a bit forward so yeah, that's a glitch. You can't really get hit by anything other than the dog's gas when you when you kill them. So you want to make sure you kill them from far away. You can grab all the power ups and drops you want in here. To get out of this glitch, it's really easy. You just want to hit your either shot and that's it. This next glitch is an AFK pile glitch. 
First you want to do the glitch to skip the first door by knife lunging the zombie like I do. Then you want to go and enter the teleporter and turn on the power in all three locations. Here are the locations. The first one to activate is in the mission control room. The second one to activate is in the data center. The third one you have to activate is in the military command ether reactor. You should have done all this by round 5 and once you do that you want to go back inside the teleporter and you want to wait around 30 seconds to 1 minute for the zombies to start spawning in. As you can see on my screen when the zombies do spawn in they will go afk in that one spot but what you want to do is kill them then you want to come to the spot where i am and you want to go exactly there now you're going to see when the zombies do spawn in they all will walk right past you except there will be a zombie every now and then that will attack you but a lot of times they'll run away if you don't kill them this glitch is actually insane because when you do stay here all the zombies will just run right past you and you can kill them with whenever you want so that's why i recommend having an ar or an smg not a close range gun because the zombies will go back and forth pretty far away from you this glitch affects all types of zombies including the manglers and the mimics and it'll work in the later rounds too which makes it extremely effective another way you can do this glitch is by charging up your either shroud then you want to come where i do use it then you want to do exactly what i do but you want to go over here this time and then you can kill all the zombies this way and you'll have the same effect I'll be showing you guys an unlimited XP glitch. The only things you need for this glitch are a few stim shots and healing aura. But in the crash site, you want to have two zombies alive. And what you want to do is come over here. You want to go prone exactly where I do. And once the two zombies are behind you, you just want to spam your crouch button. And if done correctly, you will be under the map. But if you do it incorrectly, you will take a lot of damage. So if you do get below 60 health, I would recommend you get out at the spot. Otherwise, you can die really easily. And if you have it already, you want to make sure you buy jug. You can do that by climbing onto this and buying it. But pretty much, you want to follow exactly where i go and you want to come over here once you make your way here this is going to be the tricky part you want to do a double jump up to here and you will start taking damage now and this is where you activate your healing aura but pretty much what you want to do again is jump and mantle onto this thing it might take a few tries but you want to use your stim shots to help you regain health then once you reach this barrier you just want to blow it up and once you do that you will stop taking any damage and you're gonna be in the glitch so after a few seconds the zombies will start spawning from this one location and what you want to do is use the infinite toxic growth glitch by just hoarding up a bunch of zombies and once you do that exactly like i do here and once you get them in a big horde you want to use your toxic growth and if done correctly this toxic growth will stay there forever now as you can see i can just sit here in the corner and all the zombies will spawn right into the toxic growth but once again this glitch is not it fk because treyarch made it so that you don't earn xp if you aren't moving or pressing your interact or shoot buttons so what i recommend doing is if you're gonna watch a movie or a tv show just have your controller right next to you and every minute just press your reload button or just move around it should do the trick